How's it going today there YouTube? Well, I'm kind of late getting started in the video here, but uh, as always, you guys know me, I'm usually a pretty busy guy. You might see behind me there that there's, well, a tarp sitting on the uh, front porch and then no tractor on the trailer. I decided I'm going to take the tractor off the trailer and I was going to put it in the back carport, so I spent the last, well, last night anyway, most of this morning, I've been uh, kind of getting things rearranged. You guys see the nice job I did on my uh, the first cut of hay up here, you know, I been raining on and off and get so busy by the time you get home sometimes I don't feel like doing anything you know the grass was almost a foot tall up here so I finally decided to cut that last night so there you go I, I should uh, build an RC remote controlled tractor and a bale and go around and bale up and you know that'd be pretty cool I'd be getting some YouTube views anyway but uh, don't exactly got time to be farting around with all that so anyway we'll come over here at least the yard's dried out pretty good you can't really see tractor tire tracks if we're there too much I ended up taking the fence down the side of the house, which actually came apart pretty easily. It wasn't too rusty together and whatnot, and uh, poles just pulled out. I was all excited to get a nice shot for you guys and use the tractor to rip a fence post out, but didn't have to. So we come back here a little farther, and hopefully I didn't already show you guys. We did... Oh, the phone's on me. Oh, I'll get back. Anyway, back to what I was saying here. Last night I dragged some stone home and uh, kind of rearranged the carport a little bit and moved things around and still kind of cleaning up. Took some scrap in this morning and whatnot, but we still got a ton of crap around here to deal with. But you know, you guys know me, scrap guys usually do. But anyway, here's what we got now. Tractor's finally got some Keswick soil on his, on his tires now, so. Well, you know, your dreams will come true. Sometimes, you know, it costs you a lot of money and a little bit of time, but you know, hey, only you can make that happen. So, yeah, she's here and it's, uh, well, this is at least a summer home anyways. It'll be up here for show season and whatnot, but I'll probably go back down to the farm for winter time. I think, anyway. But if it, if I decide it's gonna stay here for the winter time, then it's, this is where it's gonna sit, so. Well, I got some time now, I can go at it and get it kind of tuned up. I think I had the carburetor a little bit rich last week. I seemed to, I think I got quite a set for the 91 octane, but then again, I never really run that. But at the same time, you know, it seemed to like it all right. So, I mean, it's nothing a little fine tuning can't look after here. So, I mean, I don't got to worry about cleaning the fuel tank out this year. The tank was nice and clean when it went down this year. Because remember, you guys might remember the video I did. Last year I cleaned the tank out on it, and then uh, go out here and touch up some of the paint. I might actually, wheels aren't really in bad shape, I might get them painted up there again this year and get things kind of cleaned up. I do have to put an oil line on it, and I'll show you guys here in a minute. Right up in here there's a little plug here, a little plug here. There's supposed to be an oil line that goes up and around here. Now I tried to put that on and during the fair last weekend in Kawartha and uh, well if any of you guys are actually paying attention you'll see I had a little oil spot at the bottom of the tractor and that never looks good at a show ever ever have a tractor leaking oil at a show is never a good thing. But uh, basically what happened is, is when I I thought I could thread the elbow in up here in the top of the cylinder hood but I didn't realize at that time I had to take this breather tube off. So of course when you pull that plug out all the oil comes out of the cylinder head and went down the front of the motor so just made a damn mess of things really is what I did but uh tractor sells lots of oil in and whatnot I'm due for an oil change anyways so no big deal I put the plug back in it and just oiled the water pump with a squirt can like me and grandpa have been done for several years so anyway that's one little thing to fiddle with I'll let me show you guys here right quick oh yeah might be heading here next weekend. Get it on camera. Down near Niagara, the Niagara Antique Power Association annual heritage display. Featuring Oliver and Cockshut Heart Power. So I don't think I'll take the track down there. I think I might just go myself and maybe uh, another friend of mine might go down, but that's next week. This week we got home jobs. Anyway, that's the oil line it's supposed to go come out of the head and go onto the water pump. I figured, well, since we're going to be doing a lot more shows this year, I should put that on there instead of just doing it with a squirt can. But, you know, hey, 
We only run one show a year in Farmersville for the longest time. That's just the way things go. Never had any problems with that pump's been on that. I can tell you guys real quick that pump's been on that tractor since 1996 because Grandpa wrecked another one of these back in those days. I had a business card here. I was going to show you guys something too. <clears throat> one of the guys that was parked next to me there last weekend, I think his name was Paul Leavitt, gave me his card, and of course I can't find it right now. But, uh, basically he was at Clayton Webb's auction sale when the, uh, Grandpa's 80 and 99 got sold. And he said that, uh, he seems to think the 99's over in Belleville, which is not really all that far away. It's about, oh, two hours or so on the 401, but... I mean, I spent lots longer time than that on the highway, so the interesting to go down and see it anyway. But then again, you can't do everything these days. But yeah, I'll have a video here for you guys. I'll probably go at this tractor here a little bit, and we'll get it cleaned up for Farmersville and bring it back home, and we'll take it up to Cookstown this year, and we're going to have ourselves a pretty good pretty good season I think so I kind of started that whole track to show a season thing I think kind of a trend thing and people kind of caught on to it but I always used to say we track show season used to start at Farmersville for us but uh, I guess it really starts with the Quarth Antique Power Show but I don't know I guess track show season full swing right now that's just an off weekend anyway I'm gonna go ask some stuff here and diddle around and uh, if something else pops up, I'll record it for you guys. Should mention too, I had the little ET250 going this morning. I just uh, figured I was in the process of moving it here amongst all the other crud I gotta clean up in here. Got uh, dumped a little fuel on it and started on the first pull too, so maybe this one I'll actually get a chance to ride the damn thing, but I mean, you never enough hours in the day, so it seems these days. You got, I'll put a clip in here for you guys to, you guys can listen to that thing run too if you want. I missed the start up for you guys. I wasn't sure if it was going to go or not, but the batteries need to be charging up okay, so. There's another noisy toy for the day. I got you guys in the camera mount that I actually made to go in the fender of the tractor, but uh, it seems to stick on the truck windshield a little bit better, but now I got a grease spot in my truck windshield, but I mean, you can't win them all, I guess. The air noise is just from the air conditioner in the truck. I had the windows out earlier, but I didn't figure I'd want to listen to too much uh, wind noise. Like the, I can't believe how windy it was during that show last weekend. I mean, the camera seemed to pick it up all right, but I don't know, maybe I need to get a better camera. Anyway, I'm just on the way down to Prince's Auto here, so I figured I'd... Uh, chat with you guys here for a minute so I was kind of surprised I didn't see Bill's T Max the Corth Lake Antique Power Show I thought maybe he'd bring his ARs although it's kind of a far trip for him to go out there I guess but I mean I'm sure we'll meet up with him at uh, Cookstown or something he's done he might be there but anyway maybe we'll do one of those YouTube call out events and we'll uh, we'll call Billy out and we'll say hey Bill you got to bring your tractor to the uh, Cookstown Steam Show. Uh, I don't know. We'll think about it. Maybe I'll let you guys trickle that down to him and see what he says. Bill's a pretty good guy. I've watched the channel for a number of years, so I guess a little shout out to Billy too, I guess. So anyway, hey, I already got a pretty clean looking tractor too. So, but you know, it's like everything. I got little things to do on the 1828 also. But you know, most of you guys know me well enough. The tractor sits for 51 weeks out of the year, so you know, little weeks, and little this, and little that. That's gonna happen. That's just that's just a given. So things don't get used like they should. So maybe I have to find something to do with the tractor, get something to drive the belt or something. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm gonna focus on driving. And we'll uh, catch you guys in a bit. Anyway, it's getting kind of late in the day here, so I'm gonna put an end to this video. Just something short and sweet, I guess. We'll go at the tractor tomorrow. Maybe get a little video going, and uh, I'll put the oil line on. Maybe get some paint for the wheels and whatnot. And We'll go work on the tractor for a little bit and might make for a nice little video. But anyway, 
As always, if you guys like what you see, please comment, rate, subscribe. We do saw the P.O. box open if you want to send in a piece of fan mail and get a little feature on the channel here. And uh, we'll give you a shout out. So anyway, uh, we'll see you on the next one.